Hey y'all, all right. Let's pick back up where we left off. Now, I was getting the choke mechanism put back together and assembled. Uh, what you have to do when you're doing these two together. Let's zoom in here real quick. When you're putting these two, you have to put this rod in first. Okay? And it goes in this side. From this way, the the opposite side. So, it comes in from over here. This rod does. You have to put it in from the, the passenger side. Or driver side, sorry. Driver side of the carburetor. And it comes in this way. Then this linkage goes on the end. Now, when you put this linkage on, you have to put this rod in then you need to have this plate just sitting in there ready to come up to meet this rod okay this is your this is your uh air door okay so the incoming air rushing air pushes this open and there's a vacuum pod down here that opens it too i gotta put that on too so that's this carburetor has a lot of little tricky bits about it that if you're not careful can trip you up so it's really careful you got to be really careful about all of that so i will try to do my best when i'm uploading these two videos to upload them one right after another back to back that way it provides that information there Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this. Okay, this rod is positioned incorrectly. Oh boy. Alright, so you're going to get to see how this all goes. Alright, so first. Yeah, these carburetors are finicky to assemble. All right, so that will stay down in there. Then, I'll take this. that out show that the rest way back on there and then let's see can I put I think I can make that work right there. So, I'll show you in just a minute why I just did what I did.
Now, let's see here. All right, so now why did I do that? That little bit right there, just in. Okay, you see this little trinket right here? This guy's got to go on next. And he goes on right here. Okay. So he's got his own little screw that sits there. Well, little hex headed bolt that goes in there. Thinking I might be better off just trying to do this with a nut driver. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta put that linkage rod that goes in there. Now that's a great thing about having a parts carburetor is that if you ever get lost, you can just always look at the parts carburetor and say, oh, hey, look, it's this rod right here. So you just go and you look and say, okay, well, it's not that one. Is it this one? Mm, no, well, no, 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 it isn't. So you look at this one. No, it ain't that one. Or is it? Wait a minute. No, no, it ain't that one either. Then you look at this one. You're like, hmm. That one looks looks correct. So, put that right there. Okay. Hmm. So we can't go on like that. So we have to go on the other way. But there's no place for a clip. Yeah, there's no place for a clip on this thing. So, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's going to be just a little bit uh, mystifying. Oh, nuts. I don't know. Wait a minute. Okay. This spring right here has got to go into the side of the carburetor. Okay, it's got to go in right here. This shaft, for the air valve door, there's a, that spring goes in there. I should have put this in first. Probably would have saved me a lot of time if I had been looking. Yeah, I don't have this, I don't have any screws run through this. I probably should go ahead and run at least one or two screws in this just to get things bolted down.
Yeah, I'm going to put a couple of screws in there. Just one or two. I'll take them back out if I need to. It's not a big deal. I'm not even going to tighten them up that much. We just want to keep it all from coming apart. That's all. And having another gasket problem. I just remembered something. <laughs> oh boy okay this is out the top part's got to come completely off I forgot there's a little hose inside here Yes, there we go. There's the metering rod. One of them, anyway. Came out. I'll have to redo that. Okay, there's a little hose assembly. Little hose, and it comes with a new one. The kit comes with a new hose right there. The old hose wasn't bad, though, but... Just put a little oil on that end right there. There we go. Okay. All right. And let's see. Let's go ahead and get that out. It's kind of goofy how they do that. this thing apart did remember that that vacuum pod has to go right there so pull off so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on real quick This right here. Oh, okay. So, all right. So this this part. Okay. So I got my choke pull off put on. There we go. Well, that's not going to work. Obviously, that screw goes has to go somewhere else because it's bottoming out the threads it's too long okay y'all my apologies let me go find a screw that's going to work in there because Obviously, I've lost one or something somewhere. I'm not sure what's happening. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Let me bring you back up to speed. These metering rods. 
there is nothing there's no clips or pins or anything that that attaches them to this this bar assembly here okay there's nothing that that attaches them to it so when you put these in here it is fidgety it's it's very finicky but i can tell you this it takes some patience and time but make sure that the rods will go all the way down in their travel, okay? Like so. You want to make sure they go all the way down. Reason being, if you don't, what can happen is you can uh, they won't be in the jets at all, and then the jet will be just there'll be fuel just pouring in there so that's really important don't you know it's really important to make sure that that is correct now this choke assembly here you have to take this back off okay this piece back off and then put the bar this bar in up here then put it in here then put the screw into the rod here okay i know very finicky that's the way this carburetor is. That's just its nature. Okay. So just, uh, you know, when you rebuild one of these, just get ready to sit down and go for a long ride because that's what it is. All right. Now, I'm concerned with myself. I went ahead and put two screws into the top to hold everything together because these go all the way through down to the base. All right. I got the choke pull-off put on. I don't know if you got to see that or not. I also got the idle mixture screws put in. They're not run down all the way. I just started them, and that's it. So, now I'm concerning myself with this little spring inside of here. Yeah, you see that one right there? It goes in there. It goes on this plate, the end of that rod. Okay, so that's really important. Because if you don't have that spring in there, like the way it's supposed to be, what can happen is then that spring will not um, hinder this thing. This thing will just be open all the time. And you don't want that. You want it to have some tension on it. So that's why the spring is there. So next, we're going to go we'll just look inside here. Okay, I see the end of the rod there. It's just like got a little screw slot. Okay, let's stick this in there. Try to feel for it to go into the slot there. And I'm not feeling it. Ah. Well. Thought I had it a minute ago. Maybe be better. I just... Oh boy. Me and my big ideas. Oh boy. Okay, it's in. Yeah, okay. It's in. Whew. Whew. All right. Now the next part is this little guy right here. So yes, the screw is in, or I mean the spring. So this little screw has to go in. It's not really a screw. It's just got a screw head on it. All right, and it's got this projection on it. There is a, this piece here goes in there to hold this piece in place. All right, so...
Um, you know what I need? I need a magnetic tip on my screwdriver. So, I think that will help me tremendously. Let me back out here just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... Okay. Holy cow, I think I got it already. All right. See, I'll show you something here in just a second. Let me get this started in there. Now, they make a special tool to adjust this air door to work with these two little special fasteners here. This is just basically, this is just a nut. That's all it is. There's threads on it and the whole nine yards. See? So, there's threads on it. And it's just a nut. It's just... So, run that in there. Now... Okay, so I gotta have you see how that air door is moving. Now, hopefully, we don't mess this up. So now. You just want a little bit of tension on that. You don't want a lot, just a little. Okay, so time to put some tension on it. So whoops. Okay. Now, I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use another screwdriver and, well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Try this again. Yeah, this, this entire carburetor is finicky. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Okay. That special tool that I read about, I may have to order that son of a gun. So let me see. Let me try to run this down just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. That's probably pretty good right there. Just a little bit of tension. That's all you need. Then just a little bit of turn there on that nut to lock it down. Okay. All right. So let's move on. Go ahead and get the uh, accelerator pump arm in place. 
get its linkage on and everything like that. Because that's, that's going to be... Okay. Now, if you remember earlier, this arm was bent. Uh, I straightened it off camera. But it's now it's closed up up here a little bit. So I'm going to have to open it up. Which means I'm going to have to use the vise. Which means... Yeah, the camera's going to have to be moved. Yeah. So. I know. My fault. Okay, so. I'm just going to open this up here a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Um, is it a big screwdriver? Maybe, maybe, possibly. Let me just open it up just ever so slightly. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, it has its own special fastener. Ah, yes. Right here. This fastener, it's, uh, kind of, it's different from all the rest, so you, you know, it's hard to mistake it for anything else. Okay. So now the accelerator pump linkage. And then this will go in there. Putting this piece of linkage on, that's for the choke. Well, that's also for, yeah, it's also for the choke. So, that's really important. So, next, I'm going to put on this piece of linkage. Here, this is for the, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, this piece of linkage, this is for the accelerator pump. There's two holes in the accelerator pump. I'm going to go with the closer one first. You should feel some spring tension when pulling down on that. So, okay. Let's see, needle nose pliers. Ah, yep. So, all right. Okay. Now, these little covers, they go over the meter and rods and probably help keep the meter and rods from like popping out and moving about, moving around. There we go. Okay, yeah. This. That this one goes over here, like so. Just two little flathead screws, all they use on this. Now, here's what really stinks about these if you're not careful, you can drop them. And, all right, 
I think I'm going to have to use magnetic ratcheting screwdriver again. Keep from dropping these down in there. I'm just trying to imagine somebody changing, taking these out and doing this on a running engine. And I'm like, hmm, yeah, that could be very disastrous. Okay. All right, so, yep, got the covers on now. Let's see, next, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and put all the mounting screws in. 